Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thou word of thee. By what we have done, and by what we have done, and done, done, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and hungry, and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, and strengthen you in all goodness by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your Christ. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The mercy of the Lord is everlasting. Come, Come let, let us adore for him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the Lord of our salvation. And raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is the great God, and the great King of all the gods. He in the sands of the heavens of the earth, and the highest of the hills are his also. You see, it is his, for he made it. And his hands moment to dry down. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For we are our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. So that the day we would hearken to his voice. Psalm 38, from page 636. Medicine. O Lord, do not reveal me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your errors have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no help in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For oh, my iniquities overwhelm me, like a heavy burden that are too much for me to bear. My own sin confessed her. For the reason of my foolishness, I am about to bow down and prostrate. I go about the morning all day long. My loins are filled with soothing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the burning of my heart. O oh Lord, you know all my desires. My, my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding me when strength fails me. The brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw out of my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek out my life, but they snare for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. And I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have come like one who does not hear, and from those sound comes no defense. For you hear, O Lord, and my eyes is my hope. You will answer me, O Lord my God. For I said, do not let them rejoice at my expense. Those who will cover me from my first service. Truly I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number of those who are not pay pain. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. The Lord will not forsake me. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord of my salvation. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the first book of Samuel. David fled from Naoth in Ramah. He came before Jonathan and said, what have I done? What is my guilt? And what is my sin against your father that he is trying to take my life? He said to him, Far from it. You shall not die. 
My father does nothing, either great or small, without disclosing it to me. And why should my father hide this from me? Never. But David also swore, Your father knows well that you like me, and he thinks, Do not let Jonathan know this, or he will be grieved. But truly, as the Lord lives, and as you live yourself, there is but a step between me and death. Then Jonathan said to David, Whatever you say, I will do for you. David said to Jonathan, Tomorrow is the new moon, and I, shall, I should not fail to sit with the king at the meal, but let me go, so that I may hide in the field until the third evening. If your father misses me at all, then say, David earnestly asked me leave of me to run to Bethlehem, his city, for there is a yearly sacrifice there for all the family. If he says good, it will be well with your servant. But if he is angry, then know that evil has been determined by him. Therefore, deal kindly with your servant, for you have brought your servant into a secret covenant with you. But if you there is guilt in me, kill me yourself. Why should you bring me to your father? Jonathan said, Far be it from you. If I knew that it was decided by, that my father, that evil should come upon you, would I not tell you? Then David said to Jonathan, Who will tell me if your father answers you harshly? Jonathan replied to David, Come, let us go out into the field. So they went, both went out into the field, and Jonathan said to David, By the Lord, the God of Israel, when I have sounded out my father about this time tomorrow, on the third day, or on the third day, if he is well disposed towards David, shall I not send and disclose it to you? But if my father intends to do you harm, the Lord do so to Jonathan, and more also, if I do not disclose it to you, and send you away, so that you may go in safety. May the Lord be with you as he has been with my father. If I am still alive, show me the faithful love of the Lord. If I die, never cut off your faithful love from my house. Even if the Lord were to cut off every one of the enemies of David from the face of the earth. Thus Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David, saying, May the Lord seek out the enemies of David. Jonathan made David swear again by his love for him, for he loved him and as he loved his own life. Jonathan said to him, Tomorrow is the new moon. You will be missed, because your place will be empty. On the day after tomorrow, you shall go a long way down to the, go to the place where you hid yourself earlier and remain beside the stone there I will shoot three arrows to the side of it, as though I shot at a mark. Then I will send the boy, saying, Go, find the arrows. And if I say to the boy, Look, the arrows are on this side of you, collect them, then you are to come. For as the Lord lives, it is safe for you, and there is no danger. But if I say to the young man, Look, the arrows are behind you, then go, for the Lord has sent you away. As for the matter about which you and I have spoken, the Lord is witness between you and me forever. The word of the Lord. <coughs> Canticle 11. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has come upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep ruin the shrines of peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your army. Your gates will always be open, by day and night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord. The Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin of destruction within your borders. 
you will pardon all our salvation and all your portal sprays. The sun will no more be revived by day, and by night it will not be the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A lesson from the Gospel according to Mark. Jesus went out again besides the sea, and the whole crowd gathered around him, and he taught them. As he was walking along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax booth, and he said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. And as he sat at dinner in Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were also sitting with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, they said to the, his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? When Jesus heard this, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick I have become I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, Why do John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus said to them, The wedding guests cannot fast while the bridegroom is with them. Can they? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast on that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk clothes on an old cloak, otherwise the patch pulls away from it, and the new from the old, and the worst tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is lost. And so are the skins. But one puts new wine into fresh wine skins. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Canticle 16. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people to set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David, who is the only prophet he promised of all, that he will save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy government. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, we to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight. All the days of our life, you, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins and the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from our eyes shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet to the way of peace. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, he is now, and it will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Father's power. So crucified and died and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray, suffer today. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Grant us salvation. 
Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us away with justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your face is held among the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us through the Holy Spirit. O God and King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do and also may have the grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today we pray for the Diocese of On the Coast, Nigeria, we also pray for the Church of Christ in the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Episcopal Church, presiding Bishop Michael Carey, our own Diocese of West Tennessee, Bishop Phoebe, the assistant staff and leadership, for world leaders, the President, Congress and Judiciary, the state and local government. We pray for justice and peace in our land and overcoming barriers which divide. We also pray for our own parish, St. Andrew, for our prayer, work and study, for our enrich and outreach and our partners, for the clergy, staff, vestry, lay ministries, and our congregation members. We pray that you would guard and make us holy, <coughs> glorify your name among us. We also pray for the poor, the sick, and the needy, and those who serve others. Deliver us from sin and death, from the world and the flesh and the devil. Today we pray for protection of our lives and recovery from natural disasters and wars. We pray for those amongst us who are ill, that you would heal them. Add in the sessions of Thanksgiving at this time. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And after we Lord be with you. And I with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. 
It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Therefore we praise you, training our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who forever say this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son and my eyes, blessed is he who crowns his name of the Lord. O Son and my eyes. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature and to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension. We offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And that the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. And all this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has told us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we will forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the, the feast. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength, courage, love, and serve you with gladness and gentleness of heart. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen. 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 Amen.